Welcome to the best years to come. You will see one of the many segments we're planning on the perfect house for aging in place. And uh, the first person who's going to be presenting is Connie Isabel, and she's giving you her version of what a perfect aging in place house will be. The idea behind this house is it's all one story. You know that statistically a lot of people get seriously injured going up and down stairs. So this is slab, there's no basement, which kind of means less clutter because my basement is full of stuff that I don't like to look at every day. Um, so that's what we're uh, going to be showing. Take note of the space, take note especially, especially of the floor, okay? So you know that there's no steps up or there's maybe one step up. So we will be showing other ones and uh, enjoy this uh, first segment. Hi, I'm Connie Isabel. I'm a uh, broker with Century 21 Farm and Forest in Derby, Vermont. And we found a home that's a ranch style home that's on one level, there's no basement stairs, and we're just gonna kinda go through the house, and even outside where there's a nice flat lawn, and talk about some of the perks of a house like this for someone who's thinking about um, being in, a, in the same house as they get older. Um, we can start by going in. So when you first come in, on the right hand side is a master bedroom. And the master bedroom has its own bath, which is also a nice feature. It's nice to have two bathrooms in a house um, for your guest and also for, for um, your own privacy to have your own bathroom. And this one is kind of a nice setup. It's got the bathtub and the shower. And the, the nice thing is it's large enough. If someone is in a wheelchair, they can get in and out, I think, fairly easily. The other thing to think about is flooring. Um, this looks like it's engineered flooring and hardwood flooring, so you know it's a good surface um, so that you're not apt to be tripping or um, if you do fall, it's not quite as hard as, as tile flooring. We have our access here from the garage. One of the nice features about this house is it does have an attached garage which is really nice um, when it's raining or snowing. So you can actually drive in with your car, turn your car off, um, close the garage doors, and then just come right into the house. Um, and that might avoid a fall, um, you know, slipping on the ice or just slippery um, cement when it's raining out. So I think that's a, a great feature to have. Also, um, the nice thing about this entrance is some garages have several steps before you go into the house. There's only one step here. Um, and you could put a little railing if you needed to for extra support. The other nice thing too is um, with a house like this, everything is on one floor, so you don't have to worry about going into the basement. There is a setup here for your washer and dryer. So easy access. For doing laundry um, and then there's also three bedrooms in this house which is kind of convenient because sometimes if you're a couple um, sometimes people for one reason or other um, you know one person can't sleep or whatever sometimes they want separate bedrooms or if you do have guests it's nice to have that third bedroom and also you can turn one into an office if you'd like. So it's always nice to have three bedrooms, but two bedrooms is adequate as well. As we go to the other end of the living room, there's a really nice deck out here, which is nice. Um, again, there's no steps, so it's easy to access. And also the lawn is all you know quite level which is another great feature because you're not so apt to to fall it's just easier to be outside and and be on level ground and the other thing you could do with a deck like this is build in a screen porch which is also a nice feature where you can utilize it a little bit more 
when you're buying a house that you're thinking that you want to keep when you're older, you might not want a, a huge house either. So keeping it around 16 to 1800 square feet is not a bad idea um, because the more you have, the more you have to clean and, and maintain. And um, sometimes keeping things simpler is easier.